woke up this morning just counting commas I promise I'll make it so I'll take care of my mama This ain't love and hip hop, I don't need all that drama As long as every day I continue in counting commas Hey there, I have three wigs for you guys today in the same style but different colors and they're brought to you by Hair Supply Shop. I'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig and also their direct store. The brand of the wig that I have today is Ultra. I have one in Melted Hair 9 wigs. The style that I have is Seraphine and the colors DR2 slash Ginger Brown, DRFF2 slash Cinnamon Mocha, and DRFF2 slash Cherry Red. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. You get a five inch deep parting that comes in the middle. You get some lace in the front so you get a frontal effect. Behind the lace you get two cones on the front not too far from the temple. Another cone and nape area with adjustable straps. You also get an elastic band for extra secure fit. And the cap material is a stretch fit breathable material. The lace is coming off gray on my skin. You know, I'm gonna try my best to go in and tint it to my skin color. And the texture of this hair is a light yakky texture, but it has a silky feeling to it. This is the ginger brown color and the parting space comes pre-plucked. The hairline comes pre-plucked also and you get baby hairs around the hairline. This part is optional, you do not have to go in and do it, but by the parting space, it is coming off pretty humpy. So I go in with my hot comb on the temperature number five, and I just press down the parting space, and I also press the hairline back to, to get a nice sleek look with the hairline. No, no I don't need a degree to know this ain't love at first sight. this is how it looks after i'm done using the hot comb it looks nice don't it but I also feel like now that I use the hot comb, the top part is giving a shine. So I'm going to take my Kenra Dry Volume Shampoo, oh, Volume Dry Shampoo, sorry. And I just spray it onto the crown area. After you spray it, it gives off this white residue. But to get rid of that, all you have to do is pat the product into the hair and it lightly disappears. To help give the hair some more volume and body, I'm just taking my paddle brush and lightly brushing out the curls. I don't want to lose the curls that much, but this wig straight out of the box is coming off pretty thin. To help save some time, whatever I did to the ginger brown color is the same thing that I went ahead and did with the other two colors off camera. And if you don't know how to cut off your lace, you just take your scissors and cut right along the hairline. To help tint my lace, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Fit Me powder underneath the lace and apply it to the spots that we'll be showing. Just say you hold me forever, at least for tonight. It's been so long since I got to go for someone The first color I'm doing is DR2 Ginger Brown. This color is so gorgeous. You see that? Yes. So this wig come as a middle part. I already went ahead and applied my powder underneath the lace. I'm just gonna go ahead and hook the adjustable straps very close and then just slide her on. So the lace is eh. It blends, but it still need a little bit more blending. So you know when that happens, what I do, I go on with that foundation better okay looking like scopiana um now since i have other wig reviews to do 
I'm not gonna glue down the hairline or hard hold spray the hairline. I actually like it. I might do it with one of the wigs, with one of the sides so you can see how the hairline lays down. But let me just go ahead and style these baby hairs. To style my baby hairs, I'm gonna go in with the yellow got to be glue gel. So the next color up is one of my favorite colors by Otre, and it's the Cinnamon Mocha. Mm. Fall ready or nah, winter ready or nah. This is so gorgeous. Okay, so just gonna go ahead and swap wigs. That pre-plucked hairline is looking good. So the air tab is a little too long for me, so I'm just gonna go in and cut some of it off. No. So again, I am going in with some foundation on top of the lace. I do this with all three wigs. I need the air tab to lay down for this wig show and tell. So I'm just taking this olive oil super hard hold spray and spraying one layer by the air tab and then I blow dry until it's completely dry. So I'm just going to skip this part with styling the baby hairs because I laid down the left side and I suck at doing the left side baby hairs on me. I don't know why I didn't do the right side but eh, I tried.
ding 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 there we go i see some tracks showing in the back it probably wouldn't be that bad if i had a black stocking cap on on underneath but i do know it is fixable all you have to do is take some hair from the crown area and cover it up because with the ginger color i didn't have that problem so don't fear So real quick, I just want to say something about these wigs that I forgot to mention in the end. So the density on these wigs are on the low side. I really do wish that they added more tracks to these wigs because it would have made the wigs so much more popping. Even though it's on the low side, it still have a natural look and it still looks really nice. But I don't recommend this wig for every day. This is the kind of wig you take out for like special occasions, especially since it's a long synthetic wig. You would definitely, definitely expect tangling later on. The shedding on all three wigs was pretty low, but with the cinnamon mocha color, I did get more shedding than the other two, but I do believe that's because I went in and I cut the air tab. So hopefully over time, the shedding goes down. The lace on these wigs is a A+. Once you get the lace to blend in with your skin, it just looks really nice. You can definitely go in and install these wigs with glue, gel, spray, however you like to install your wigs. But I don't recommend sleeping in it because I feel like once you sleep in this, you're just going to have a tangling mess. But stay tuned in the end to hear more of my thoughts on these wigs. I love all three wigs. Shedding was pretty low with all of them, but when I did the cinnamon mocha color, it had more shedding, but it could be due to the fact that I went in and cut down the air tab, so I think that's why. So hopefully over time, the shedding does stop. The lace, the lace is really nice. Really, really, really nice once you get it to blend. It's not this hard, thick lace. It's like a nice, soft Swiss lace. The length of these wigs on me, I would say is about 24 inches and my height is 5'6". These wigs are, to me, I'm not sure if it's big head friendly. I'm not gonna lie. Like the material is stretched, but it's not super stretchy like it always is. So definitely check out other reviews before you like get it. My head circumference is a number 22, so 22 and up. Check out other reviews just in case. Uh, I really like these wigs. They remind me of another Otre wig. It's not coming to me. It came out not too... Oh, Kamaya. There we go. It reminds me of Kamaya, but just a little bit more curly. Just, just a little bit more curly with some layers. You are going to get tangling. When I combed out the wigs, I did get a few snags of tangling here and there, but nothing too hectic. But it is day one with these wigs. As for shedding, like I said, shedding was like low. Mm. In the back, I'm not sure if the tracks is showing in the back. I'm really not sure. We'll see after I watch over the video. But that's like pretty much it, you guys. I really don't have that much to say. I love it so much. Like if you're looking for a cute virgin hair dupe, and you don't want to color some hair without the hassle i totally recommend this but i don't recommend wearing this wig every day i don't feel like this wig is built for every day i feel like this is the wig you bring out once in the blue moon for special events 
So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, you guys.